was your day? Almost completely unproductive. I had a hard time starting the article. Huh. Well, looks like you got your groove back, yeah? How was your day? Oh, it was an adventure, to say the least. Let me just say it's good to be home. That good, huh? Well, half my crew called in sick because of that bug that's been going around. And then, you're not gonna believe this. Fat Tony, mm -hmm. one who can't drive, mm -hmm. decides he's gonna get into a pickup. What? And he backs into one of the porta potties. What? With Patrick in it. No. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought the guy died. I thought he was <gasps> dead. Wait, wait, are you joking? No. <laughs> No, he nearly drowned. Oh in my the... god! Yeah, you can imagine what he looked like when we pulled him out of there. I, I don't want to imagine. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! I mean, I thought I was gonna have a lawsuit. You can't catch a break with this project. What happened to your uh, leg? Oh, nothing. I just twisted my ankle or something. Yeah, or something. Not dancing in the bedroom alone again. Oh shit. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that don't... Yeah, it doesn't smell as good anymore, huh? Oh, <laughs> shush! Take out? Yeah. Okay. Hi! You made it! I did! Good, good. I ordered your coffee. Black. Perfect, thank mm -hmm. you. No problem. And I'm sorry I'm late. I was just a little behind on deadline. It's okay. Did you finish it? I did, thankfully. Good. Yeah. Your readers will be thrilled, yeah. or as I like to call them, your fans. Uh, you know I hate that. Well, they practically are. They linger on your <laughs> every <laughs> you word. You are so dramatic. Mm. Here's the coffee. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Do you need to order anything else? Nope, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> so, what is so important that you had to see me right away? Fascinating. <laughs> a relic from our childhood? It's you. What? It's you. It's you dancing at your ballet recital. And I found it in the attic. I was looking for some old books, and I came across this, and you need to watch it. I will bring over a VCR if you promise to watch it. Well, if you bring over the VCR, I'll watch it. Good. Okay. I'm thrilled. <laughs> How goes no. the wedding planning bride to be? Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. You must be my seven o'clock, James. Yes. Anna. Anna. It's it's wonderful. Anna. Welcome. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's it's nice to you. meet you. <laughs> nervous? Uh, no. A little. What do you have to be nervous about? <laughs> she used to be a, a dancer. This one. Really? Bowling? No. Um, ballet. And apparently she was pretty good, but I wouldn't know. She doesn't dance in front of me. <laughs> Why don't we get started? This way. Now, it may have been years since you've done something like this, but there's something very natural about the way that you move, something very elegant. I teach group classes here, too. Ballet is one of the least popular because of the difficulty, but it does make for a very relaxed, intimate class. I've got about seven students in there. You could make it an even eight. Jump back in. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. No, just think about it. Think about it. No pressure. It doesn't even have to be anything serious. It could just be as fun as you want it to be. Uh, I'll think about it. Thank you.
Anna, what? What's wrong? I thought I was awful. What do you mean? The reason why I gave it up is because I thought I was terrible at it. At what? Ballet. <laughs> Allison brought her VCR over and I decided to watch the tape. I was so good, Chief. You are. No, but I was told I wasn't. The reason I quit, the reason why I gave it all up was because of that man, that nobody. He was my teacher. And I was just never good enough in his eyes. All he ever told me was that I was too fat. I was too sloppy, too chunky, too clumsy. I never had the right feet or the right figure or the right posture. <laughs> Watching that video, I was so happy just dancing. <laughs> you can be happy. You can, you can dance whenever you want. But you, you, you heard what Clara said. You can get back into it. She said she saw something in you. I know you've been dancing around here by yourself when I'm not home. Huh? It's your, this is your passion. This is your dream. You can get back into it. You want to end up like Patrick? <laughs> in the porta potty? You got to do what you heart tells you. Give Claire a call. <laughs> Follow your dreams. Life's short, man. It is. You gotta get back in there. Do it, do it. I love you so much. I love you too. You're a beautiful, beautiful dancer. All right, ladies, tonight we're going to talk about Relevé. Make sure that your body is straight as if a string were pulling you up toward the sky. <laughs> 